Maglab presents Take Two Series Marker. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Lee. I would love to hear about your research. Absolutely. So my research focuses on three different aspects. One of them is phosphorus eutrophication mitigation. The second one is carbon sequestration and greenhouse gases emissions and also production. And the third one is on heavy metals contamination. You said sequestration. What is that? Uh, carbon sequestration, specifically I work with soils, and sequestration is when we are able to store um, amount of carbon on this in the soil for a long period of time. Mm. Which sounds like a good thing, storing carbon. Yes, um, it is. So tell, tell me more about that. So this is what happens. We normally have carbon being sequestered, stored, uh, taken up by plants through photosynthesis. And eventually the plants will die or they'll deposit part of their leaves and stems to the ground. Mm. So when uh, those organic matter gets to the soils, they start a process called decomposition. And in the process of decomposing, the easily decomposable uh, carbon is lost to the atmosphere as greenhouse gases. Uh, but we have a form of carbon that is more stable and is stored in the soil for a longer period of time. How do you determine which kind of carbon is which? Uh, uh, that is where we use nuclear magnetic resonance. And so we take the samples from the field, we come and prepare them, and we, that we determine the carbon composition using nuclear magnetic resonance. And what we have observed is when we have more alkyl carbon, that carbon is stored in the soil for a longer period of time. Mm. But when we have O alkyl carbon, it's easily uh, degraded and so that is most of it is lost to the atmosphere as greenhouse gases. Is there a way of increasing the amount of storage of carbon? I think that is more uh, about the management practices. For example, uh, what we know for sure is under anaerobic conditions like in the wetlands, the decomposition of organic matter is slower and so we tend to store more uh, carbon in the wetlands. But then when we drain the wetlands, then we have loss of a lot of carbon. Okay. So it's more about uh, maintaining our, our wetlands and it's more about focusing on our management practices. Well, it sounds like we're out of time. Thank you so much for your time and your research, Lucy. Sure. Let's take two series marker. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Faith. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing well. Tell me about your work at the Mag Lab recently. So I am a soil biogeochemist, and so my work is more environmental work, and I use nuclear magnetic resonance to look at carbon functional groups. Oh, very cool. Uh, what applications does that go into? I have three major applications. The first one is eutrophication mitigation. The second one is carbon sequestration and greenhouse gases production and emissions. And the third one is heavy metal pollution. Um, can you tell me more about uh, eutrophication? Sure. So what happens is carbon has the potential to sorb phosphorus. And what we have identified, specific functional groups are more effective than others. For example, aromatic carbon is really good at sorption of phosphorus. And so um, our farmers are putting too much fertilizers in the farms. And what happens most of that fertilizer, or phosphorus fertilizer, is translocated to the water bodies. And so to mitigate that, uh, to mitigate that which is eutrophication, we are working with farmers and encouraging them to put um, organic materials that have more aromatic carbon on farm. And by doing so, there is sorption of most of the excessive fertilizer, and that protects our water bodies from eutrophication. Okay, uh, what have you learned about uh, greenhouse gases from the soil research you're doing? Uh, uh, my research is mainly in the wetlands. And what happens is in these wetlands, we have different vegetation types. And different vegetation types have completely different carbon composition. And so we have identified that when we have a lot of al alkyl carbon, plants that produce a lot of alkyl carbon, those wetlands tend to produce lower amounts of 
methane and carb uh, carbon dioxide, which are greenhouse gases. And when we have more oil carbon coming from the vegetations, then we, we end up with more production of greenhouse gases. And so environmentally and from a global warming perspective, having plants with producing more alkyl carbon is more advantageous. Uh, well, that's all the time we have today. Uh, thanks for talking with me. Uh, if you'd like to know more about Lucy's uh, research, you can find out more at the link on the screen here.